Great. Well, thanks everyone for joining us today. Uh, we are here to talk about Mighty Cause and most importantly, our exciting new announcement with our Mighty Cause manager. So we will uh, cover a few slides to go over some basic information and then we'll jump right into a live walkthrough of uh, the new tools. Um, as I mentioned previously, feel free to type into the GoToWebinar control panel on the right hand side of your screen if you have any questions as we move throughout the presentation and I'll make sure that we have time to answer any questions at the end. So many of you have been using Mighty Cause uh, for quite some time. Um, you may have been using us as Razu when you first started. For anybody that missed the announcement, we rebranded from Razu to Mighty Cause back in April. Uh, this was a part of a management buyout uh, that our management team did from our investors last year. Um, so this was the final step in that, but a really exciting step for us uh, to reconnect and recommit to uh, the causes that we serve. Uh, we are a small but mighty team here at Mighty Cause and many of our nonprofit partners really understand that feeling as well. So an exciting rebrand for us. Uh, all of our teams stayed the same um, and here we are just introducing new products. Uh, so a lot of consistency but just an exciting rebrand for us. And for those of you that maybe aren't familiar, uh, as I mentioned, we're now an employee-owned company, very mission-driven with many of our staff either working previously for nonprofits, involved as board members and volunteers for nonprofits, and really everything that we do from the products that we have to this new announcement today with the Mighty Cause Manager, it's all with a goal of helping you all, our nonprofit partners, raise more funds for your mission. So I'll just take this opportunity to say, we're always looking for your feedback. You know, we want to make sure that this product, uh, this platform, all the features available and the pricing options and the business model options are working for you. So please feel free to always reach out to us. Let us know what's working for you, what you love, what might be a great new feature that would help you raise even more funds for your cause. So please always feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear your feedback. So just a, a few things to, to highlight, to keep in mind when it comes to the Mighty Cause platform and what we find important in designing new tools and features, making them work for you. So this platform has really always been focused around nonprofit fundraising. And of course, with that, storytelling tools are front and center. Good fundraising is really just telling a good story to your supporters. So all throughout the tool, you'll see great dynamic storytelling tools, whether that's on your own campaign or through using peer-to-peer -peer and team fundraising tools to allow individual supporters uh, to tell their own stories as a part of their support for your organization. We've got a fully integrated suite uh, fundraising tools for nonprofits. For those of you that aren't aware of our premium tools, we'll go over a little bit about that today, um, but really hoping to provide an opportunity for you to have all your online fundraising needs met in one place. One thing we'll also talk about a little bit later on today is how you can customize your donor experience using the Mighty Cause platform. This is something we feel really strongly about and is an exciting part of today's release is more opportunities for you to control the donor experience. Choose what questions you wanna ask and what you don't want to ask. Preview the experience that your donors will have to really make sure that you as a nonprofit can set the priorities and understand and manage that donor experience. Of course, um, also related to our premium products is an increased ability to showcase and highlight your brand over the Mighty Cause brand. Um, so we'll get into that a little bit later on, um, but definitely something that we've really built into our recent product releases and particularly our premium fundraising plans is the ability to highlight and lift up your brand. Uh, keep that front and center for donors when they're coming to make a donation to your organization. And finally, transparent and flexible pricing options. So we've got a lot of different options available from free upfront plans um, that just have platform fees, donation booster where you can control settings on, and finally, premium pricing plans that allow you to uh, 
uh, subscribe annually to Mighty Cause and do away with a platform fee. So lots of different options, which means you can choose what's the right fit for your nonprofit. And also Mighty Cause can grow with your nonprofit, depending on where you are right now may not be where you are in two years. You may be ready for new features. You might be interested in a different option. So a lot of options there to keep in mind as you figure out what's the best way to really get the most out of Mighty Cause for your organization. So here we are. Uh, what we all came to talk about today is the brand new Mighty Cause Manager. And this is a really exciting update for us uh, to reorganize the dashboard and the administrative experience that you have as a nonprofit to manage your fundraising efforts. And this update really came from a place of wanting to make sure that all the new features and products that we've been adding didn't make it any more difficult for you to do all the most important things you need and want to do on Mighty Cause. So we'll walk through uh, live in a few moments and see everything, but just a couple of things to highlight about this new Mighty Cause Manager. You'll have access to a new home screen. Uh, this is where you can quickly catch up on metrics, recent metrics on how many new donors, how much you've raised in the last month, uh, and any news from the Mighty Cause team, whether it's a new blog post or uh, information about a campaign like Giving Tuesday that we have coming up. Your donation screen, of course, a lot of this you've had access to previously in terms of where you access your donor data, where you access your disbursement reports. One of the big changes here, as I already referred to, was the new feature released in the ability to customize your donor experience. And we'll walk through that and show you what that's like today. A new campaign screen has been added to let you more easily navigate any campaigns you might be running for your organization and any campaigns that might be run by peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers on behalf of your organization. So really easily seeing what fundraising is happening, what fundraisers have ended, how much has each raised, and then of course being able to download all that information so that you can effectively use it to either um, report back and do internal debrief on campaigns that you posted, or to engage those individuals or groups that have started fundraisers on your behalf. The profile uh, is what you've always known and loved in your organization page. So you can just access that, of course, the same way uh, through now your profile on your Mighty Cause Manager. Um, whether it's making edits right on the live page or accessing settings uh, that refer to that page in particular. And finally, of course, as I mentioned before, accessing your premium tools. So if you've already upgraded to one of the premium plans on Mighty Cause, right through this manager is how you'll access all of those tools to add new uh, donor data into our, your supporter CRM tool, or post a new volunteer opportunity. Um, so for those of you that already have premium, you can access all of those tools right through that manager. And for those of you that don't, you can see what is available through the manager and decide which features might be helpful for you, might be useful for you as you look to grow your fundraising efforts. Um, so I'll show you more once we actually get into the live walkthrough. Um, but for those of you that aren't familiar with the premium plans, what's included, what new features you have access to. I just wanted to take a quick moment, um, highlight some of them that you'll see advanced analytics tools, supporter CRM, as I mentioned, to manage your donor data, uh, integration of your Mighty Cause data with uh, over a thousand external apps like MailChimp, Salesforce, Constant Contact, uh, the ability to manage volunteer opportunities, create a custom donation page for your website. Lots of great tools available here. Uh, and uh, one of the key benefits, aside from all of those additional features that you have access to, is that you lose the platform fee entirely when you sign up for a premium plan. So by opting to uh, sign up for an annual subscription, you get to do away with the platform fee on each donation. So it can be a great opportunity to even save funds while you access these additional resources. So with that, I'm gonna jump us right into the live walkthrough. Uh, 
All right. So hopefully everyone can now see my new screen, which is showing our new Mighty Cause Manager. You'll notice uh, right from the start that you're seeing uh, the organization, the nonprofit's logo right at the top of the screen. That's because this nonprofit in particular has upgraded to our premium pro plan. Uh, so the additional branding opportunities that they have available that you'll see throughout the process are related to that pro plan that they've upgraded to. But you'll see right here, um, our first screen that we're visiting is a brand new screen in the new Mighty Cause Manager, your home screen. So when you log in to Mighty Cause and access your dashboard, you'll always be taken first to your home screen. And this is really the warm welcome back into the Mighty Cause platform. So you'll see you're seeing your key metrics over the past month in terms of supporters, donation, people visiting your profile, any fundraisers started. You're also seeing a short to-do list with key items that are important to complete to make sure that your fundraising experience is really set up correctly. And you'll also see we've got some information here on features that you might want to consider, a premium plan you might want to consider upgrading to. So information here will update over time to make sure that we're making you aware of the most exciting features that we want you to be taking advantage of to raise more funds and any exciting opportunities, as I already mentioned, Giving Tuesday coming up in November. Uh, we'll have our Giving Tuesday campaign launching um, in the next week or two. And once that's available for nonprofits to sign up and participate, We'll make sure you have that information accessible right here in your home screen so you don't have to dig around for it. And finally, uh, a really exciting piece is um, our most recent blog post will always be showing right here in your home screen. So this is a really helpful way to make sure that we can keep you up to date uh, with all of their great content that we are building for our nonprofit partners. So right now you'll see we've got a great blog post about this new Mighty Cause Manager and what's so exciting about it but we post blogs on a regular weekly basis with all kinds of information from tips and tricks and fundraising strategy, as well as case studies from other successful nonprofits or campaigns on the platform. So it's a great way for you to continue the ongoing learning experience for how to really fundraise better, how to try new ideas. So your home screen, really exciting new tool available in the dashboard. Moving down the Mighty Cause Manager, you'll see the next option is your profile. As I mentioned before, this is what you've always known and loved as your organization page. And the page itself has not changed. All that's changed is your navigation towards it. And you have three different options within uh, this profile. Your live page, clicking on this will always show you what a donor is going to see when they visit the page. So that'll make sure that you're seeing exactly what a visitor will and not any of the administrative tools that you have available. Clicking on the page editor will open up the editing experience that you have available. And this walkthrough here can help you fill out all of the important items that you'd like to fill out to make this page really tell a powerful story. The final option here is of course page settings, as I mentioned. And this is where you can control certain settings that are directly related to that profile page in particular. So scrolling back over to my Mighty Cause Manager, you'll notice as I hover over the dashboard, it's gonna open up for me so that I can see what each of the icons refer to and easily decide which is the tab that I need to access. So of course your donations screen, as I mentioned earlier, is a very important one. You'll have access to all the things you're used to accessing here, like your donations report, where you can access and download all of your detailed donation history, your disbursement report, which you can access. This will be filled out for you with all of the history of any disbursements you've received from Mighty Cause, and you can open up a detailed report on each disbursement and access your settings so that you can decide if you need to set up for EFT, you can see what, um, what address is on file with the IRS that your checks are being sent to, just to make sure that you're always up to date on that disbursement process. And your donor experience. This is a really exciting 
a uh, new feature available today with your Mighty Cause Manager. As we've talked about a bit so far, uh, the ability to really customize the donor experience. So you'll see right here at the top, you've got three different tabs to manage and customize this donor experience. And once you've done that, once you've added questions, removed questions, finalized at the thank you experience, you can always opt to view your checkout. So that means once you add fields, take away fields, you can preview the experience that your donors are going to have right through this process so that you can feel confident, your board of directors, your executive director can feel confident knowing exactly what the donation process looks like to donors. That will give you the opportunity to confirm that you've not added too many questions, you've not made it too burdensome of a process, um, but you can also anticipate any questions that donors might have for you as they go to make a donation to your organization. So keep that in mind. Once you do all kinds of great customization, you can always view and preview that process. So scrolling down to show some of the features you have access to, suggested donation levels, of course, is something that we've always had available. The ability to include dollar amounts and a specific description uh, that helps to make the donation a little more tangible for the donor. Help them understand what will $50 do for your nonprofit or for this campaign in particular. Uh, we've added new options here in the ability to encourage your donors to make a dedication with their donation. Uh, so by checking this box, uh, you can allow donors to make their donation in honor of someone, in memory of someone, or dedicated to an individual. You can also uh, opt to create designations that donors can select from when they're making their donation. Uh, so if you have specific campaign coming up, a capital campaign, a specific program that you're looking to get funding for, or if your donors tend to really identify with one specific program over another, you have the opportunity to add designations that donors can select when they make their donation. And then you, of course, create what are those available designations that donors can select from. Finally, data collection. Uh, you can determine what information, what demographic information is important for you to collect from donors. Address, company, age, gender, phone number. And by default, all of these will be turned off so that we can streamline the process for donors. But you as a nonprofit can determine what's important for you. If address is really critical, then you can turn that field on and it will be required for donors to enter that field. If phone number is really important for you because that's a really key piece of your stewardship, you can opt to turn that on. Um, there's lots of ways that, that we want to let you determine what's important for your donors. Um, so it's important to keep in mind um, that turning on all of these, while that might get you great information for your donors, it's going to add a few extra steps in the process for them. So that's why that preview checkout is important to make sure that you've not added too many questions and made it too burdensome. So I'll take a moment to mention that everything that we've just seen on this page here is available to all nonprofits on Mighty Cause, whether you're on one of our free pricing plans or our premium plans. Now for those nonprofits that are on a premium pro plan, you have uh, additional customization options here in the ability to create fully custom questions. So if you need to ask your donors what their t-shirt size is, or um, if they have any interest in your volunteer program, or um, any question that's important to you in terms of getting the data you need to really effectively steward and build relationships, you can create a question here. You can have them answer just with a simple text answer. You can add checkbox or radio buttons, or even a drop down if you want to create options for them to select from. And you can have up to two questions turned on at a time. So great options there, of course, to further customize the donor experience for those on our pro plan. And the final piece of the donor experience tools involve after the donation. So of course we know once the donation is made, the fund does not end there. That's a really critical time for stewardship, both immediately and ongoing after the donation. So we've added a new feature here in a thank you page that donors will see immediately after they complete their donation. So you've got this 
really customizable toolbar here to create a dynamic thank you page with formatting, links, videos, pictures. You can really customize this thank you page to make it engaging for donors and reinforce what it is they just gave to. And you also have the option to add a specific CTA button, call to action, so that you can determine what is the next step you want your donors to take right after they've made a gift to your organization through Mighty Cause. Do you want them to visit your blog? Do you want them to visit your website? Do you want them to access information about an upcoming event that you have? So you can easily determine what that button should say and where that button should lead donors. And once you've created that, you have the opportunity to preview that page. So you can see exactly what your donors are gonna see, just like you can see throughout the checkout process, you can see exactly what they'll see in this thank you page. So scrolling down a little bit further, um, you've always had the opportunity to customize the receipt and you still have that option here now, right through this donor experience tab. One new tool is the ability to preview the donation receipt that will be sent to your donors. So once you've customized this experience here, just like you can see the thank you page, you can send a preview email to yourself or a board member or your executive director so that you'll know exactly what that thank you receipt will look like for donors. And that's our really exciting donor experience update. Um, again, uh, we feel it's a really important way to let you drive uh, what is happening for your donors um, and also give you the opportunity to change it over time. It's not set in stone. If you wanna ask a new question, if you wanna change the thank you message, you can do that at any time. So uh, a few other screens available here through your donations are matching grants, of course, where you can add a new matching grant uh, to your page and the ability to uh, set up your custom donation page. So for anyone that is on our plus or pro plans, you have access to a custom donation page that uh, can serve as a year round donation page on your website. You can build that right through here and all of those great donor experience tools that we just saw, you have access to here as well so that you can have a unique donor experience for donors that come to your website and make a donation as distinct from a campaign that you might be hosting on Mighty Cause. So moving down your Mighty Cause Manager, your campaign screen is another new feature available with this Mighty Cause Manager. So you'll see first what you're seeing is any campaigns that have been created by your organization, any administrators of your organization, any uh, fundraisers that you've hosted, you can see key details and information about, including the date they're created, if they're ended or still live, how much they've raised, and of course you can download the information at any time. And you can also access all the information about any peer-to-peer -peer campaign started for your organization so that you can really easily visit pages for those individuals that have started campaigns for you. You can see how they're doing, see if their campaign is still going, and download all the relevant information that you're gonna to need to effectively engage these peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, thank them, communicate with them to get the most out of this um, effort that they've taken for your organization. Next, we have our supporter screen. Uh, this is available for our premium plans. This is our donor management CRM tool. Right here in your home screen, you'll see the dashboard of all of your supporters in all the different roles that they've uh, been involved. You can see tags that you've created for different groups of these donors. So if you wanna, for example, only see individuals that you've tagged as a monthly donor, you can filter by that tag. And then once you do that, you have the option to download all of those individuals, you can even send a message to them right through the Mighty Cause platform if you're on our premium pro plan. And I'll walk into one of these supporter pages just so you can get a feel for the information you have access to on each individual. You can see their donation and fundraising history for you, key demographic information. Of course, if you've opted to collect gender, age, company, that information is gonna be filling in here for you. Um, you have the opportunity to add notes and custom tags to help further identify and segment your donors. And you can also see their full history in terms of 
any donations they've made directly, or any fundraising efforts they've hosted on behalf of your organization. The next item in this supporter screen is Data Connect, which is another feature available for our premium nonprofits. This is your opportunity to integrate and automate your fundraising. So through this tool, you have access to over a thousand different external applications that you can automate uh, data syncing from. So for example, you can set up an integration so that when a new donor makes a donation to your Mighty Cause page, they can be added right to a contact list in MailChimp or Constant Contact, for example, uh, you can create a new contact in Salesforce if that's the tool that you have been using for your CRM. Uh, you can set up a thank you email to fire by a Gmail based on a new donation or a post on Facebook based on a new donation. Um, there's a lot of really cool integrations that you can do here to really streamline and make your fundraising more efficient. And we've just highlighted uh, some of the most common ones here, but as I mentioned, there's over a thousand different applications that you can connect your Mighty Paws data to. Next, we have our analytics tool, again, available as a premium subscriber. This is your opportunity to access really uh, visually dynamic information about your fundraising uh, and the success that you're having. See important information like what's your highest donation level or average donation? How can you use those to further adapt your fundraising and raise more? Increase that average donation amount. Look at your donor retention over time to see how many donors are coming back year over year. How does your donation um, break down throughout the year? Are you really heavy in the summertime, really heavy around the end of year giving season? Um, and, and what donation levels do, do your donors typically give in? Uh, and you can also even connect Google Analytics uh, through this tool as well, so that if you use Google Analytics to um, track website traffic and, and visitors to your organization's website, uh, you can track the same kind of data to your Mighty Cause page as well. Uh, volunteer opportunities available through the call to action uh, icon on your Mighty Cause Manager. Uh, this is your opportunity to create and post new volunteer opportunities on your page and for any opportunities that you already have available and posted on your page you can access information for those that have uh, signed up for that volunteer opportunity um, you can email anyone that's signed up for a volunteer opportunity right through this tool manage these volunteers or download the information if uh, if you need to use it in some kind of an external tool. Again, this is a premium feature. And the last item that you'll see on your Mighty Cause Manager, I know we're just about to the end of time here, is your settings tab. So this is really going to give you the opportunity to manage any global settings for your organization. So you can see who has access to your page. You can add new individuals uh, or remove people that no longer need access. You can customize your URL. You can customize the social sharing experience and optimize the image and the text that shows when you share your link on social media. Of course, the EFT information that I referenced before, uh, disbursement information and legal information like changing your address, that can all happen right through your settings tab. Look and feel, this is where you'll add your logo and theme color. Uh, the logo and theme color is available for everyone to customize their experience, but for those that are on our Premium Pro tool, um, they have ad additional options to add uh, additional logos, again, for that uh, reinforced branding experience in even more places. And finally, also for Premium Pro customers, the ability to create a custom subdomain so that when um, you're sharing your uh, URL, you've got your own organization's name coming first ahead of the Mighty Cause domain. So here we are uh, all the way through the brand new Mighty Cause Manager and all of the tools you have access to. So I'm going to open it up for questions for a few minutes. I know we're getting just close to the end of time here, but um, any questions that I'm not able to answer today on the call, I'll be sure to follow up with you. But please feel free to type in any questions um, if you have them, if you haven't asked them yet, you can do that right in the side panel of your GoToWebinar control panel. 
Uh, great. First question we have is why the branding change from Razu to Mighty Cause? I spoke about that a little bit uh, at the beginning. Uh, so hopefully that was helpful information to you uh, as a part of the management buyout that we did from our investors. Great question on Giving Tuesday, which we mentioned briefly. Sign up will be available uh, to register for Giving Tuesday starting next week. So keep an eye out for that. Um, great question is thank you customization only available for premium customers and the answer is no uh, everyone on all of the plans on mighty cause has the ability to create their thank you page and customize the thank you receipt uh, whether you're on a free plan or a premium plan uh, the only distinct difference there uh, for premium is that those individuals on uh, plus or pro plans have access to the custom donation page uh, to build a fully new customized donor experience for that page. And then pro customers also have access to those additional custom questions. Um, great question here on the ability to reset the uh, amount of fund raised, funds raised that shows on your Mighty Cause page. And the answer is yes. This is something that you can do through the settings, page settings, on your profile section of your Mighty Cause Manager. Um, if you've got a new campaign coming up uh, and you're using your profile page to direct people to make their donation through that tool, you can reset it to zero so that it doesn't look like anything's been raised for that campaign. So that you can do right through your settings. Um, another great question here, can an individual fundraiser set up a matching grant? And the answer is yes. Um, that is something that fundraisers can certainly do as a part of the, the settings that they have available on their own page. They can set up a matching grant that's particular to their page and to their campaign that they're running. Um, great question here. Will our organization's uh, information uh, be transferred from Razu to Mighty Cause? So yes, that already happened. Um, as I mentioned, when we did this rebrand from Razu to Mighty Cause, the platform stayed the same. It's all the same platform. Even the same URL that you were using before would still work to access your page. We've just redirected that, and all the information is the same. Your page still looks the same, uh, with the exception of, of course, the Mighty Cause logo that you'll be seeing at the top instead of the Razu logo. Um, last question here um, is a question on uh, what you have access to on free plans versus our premium plans. Um, great question. Uh, we have detailed information available at mightycause.com slash premium. You can get all kinds of information about these premium plans, what the, what the features are available on each plan, what are the costs to really start to understand more of the benefits that you might have by upgrading to a premium plan. And on your own Mighty Cause Manager, you'll see any icons that are grayed out. That means that it's a premium plan or it's a premium feature that you don't currently have access to. And you'll have an opportunity to upgrade or learn more about that feature if it's something that you're interested in. So yes, it should be easy to see what you have access to and what, you, um, and what you might need to upgrade to premium to have access to. All right, um, in, in that, I'm gonna go ahead and let everybody sign off. Uh, thanks for your time today. Uh, really appreciate any feedback that you wanna share with us about this new Mighty Cause Manager. Uh, and hopefully you're as excited as we are about uh, the ability to uh, more easily navigate and manage all that you're trying to do through uh, your Mighty Cause online fundraising. Thanks everyone.